I write in a forest. I go into these forests to listen. It all started at the Billy Graham Library right here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it's evolved into a lifelong journey. Something is always moving through each and every one of us. It's your calling. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 309, April 10th, 2022. A very cold April morning. The trees, bees, and other living things are being challenged by the winter's grip. All of these beautiful new tree leaves and flowers on my apple tree, staring upward at the sky, hoping the heat will be turned on. But the sun is saying, no, 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 this, this is not me. It's, it's not my fault. And the sun is right. It didn't wake up late. It gave to the night creatures their open space. I'm not jumping onto this battle about climate control, for if it were an 80 degree morning, I'd be talking about something different. The weather is just as lost as the human trying to find their way. The good news is, we aren't like the insects that can't survive on such mornings. There is beauty in any and all days, but are we listening to the temperature of the atmosphere? Learning how to locate meaning and purpose can be just as cold as an April morning. The body gets used to a certain level of heat. Then from out of nowhere, we wake up and it's a very cold morning. Interesting that I would bring this up today because here in the Carolinas on this particular date, which is September 28th, 2022, so several months have gone by since I pinned this out. We are at 47 degrees right here at the end of September with Hurricane Ian off the coast of Florida. Within a matter of 48 hours, the atmosphere inside this place that I presently stand is going to be attacked brutally by that weather. It won't be a hurricane. It'll be a tropical storm by that time. But they're saying all of this is going to be taking place. And the thing is, is that we do allow the atmosphere around us to control what we're doing. And yet, and yet, we have been told our entire life, if you can't control the situation, let it go. Walk away. So how, how do you do what we do when there's a threat of a hurricane and or tropical storms with tornadoes and high winds of, of 35 to 50 miles per hour, three to five inches of rain? How, how do you not have anxiety in situations like this? You prepare. It's the same thing in life. When you've got moments where you know that you're going to be in question, prepare. Don't try to find the answer before you get there. Just prepare your mind, body, and soul. I do things like write, or I'll take long transition walks. And on those transition walks, I think about what is your intention today? What is your goal? If you could achieve something that you have control over, what would you like to do? What is the intention? I also listen to the way that my dog breathes or pants when we're out there in the forest on these walks. It's a rhythm. It's a natural song. It's learning to put your mind in other places other than fear, shame, doubt, worry, anxiety. When I do that, in reality, it is a form of meditation. It's something that I learned with Nidra. That you can have your eyes wide open and still go into a moment of meditation. Getting your breathing under control. Now, as a third degree black belt, one of the lessons that I learned way, way, way long ago was how to properly breathe for the entire body. So many of us breathe up here on the upper part of our lungs. No, your whole body needs the air. Your donjin. Your donjin is right above your pelvic bone. You need to fill up the donjin and then slowly release it. To allow your body to have that moment of, I'm in control. I'm in control. April 10th, 2022, a very cold April morning. The trees, bees, and other living things are being challenged by winter's grip. How do you move beyond the temperature of the atmosphere? Breathe. I'm Errol. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.